Alan Wynn Jones, I've just gotten out of bed this morning, folks, after staying up to watch the Lions till 4 o'clock in the morning, had some bricky, checked the news, and Alan Wynn Jones, with his dislocated shoulder, is out of the Lions tour. His 2021 campaign essentially goes all of seven minutes. Heartbreaking news for the big man. Uh, and for the Lions camp in general, you cannot buy the amount of leadership that guy has got. I mean, for all his people who detract him for, you know, being too old, his ability to talk to the ref and uh, lead a squad of men with the amount of tests that he's been as captain is, is honestly irreplaceable. It's pretty brutal news. Uh, he's out with a shoulder injury dislocated shoulder i think initially get said in the post-match press conference that they would uh you know they would they would do the checks and like at best 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 case scenario he might be back for the first test but by all accounts now um that's very unlikely so yeah he is uh out of the lions tour he has been replaced as captain and he has been replaced uh, in the squad with another lock. He's been replaced as captain by Connor Murray, which is an interesting choice. Um, I would have assumed maybe a club captain to to be the guy. Uh, I'm not sure how many times Connor Murray has captained Munster. Uh, generally, he's not been captain when I've been uh, watching Munster, but admittedly, that's not kind of week in, week out stuff, but he's certainly experienced. He has been around the block with Ireland and with the Lions plenty so he does bring this aspect to uh to the tour and obviously when picking captain you're picking the guy who you think is going to be starting in all of the tests and based on the selection of bigger and uh, murray in that first game against japan it was maybe a wee show of the hand that murray is the preferred option at nine if this doesn't say that he's the preferred option at nine i don't know what does so yeah, Connor Murray takes over as tour captain, so congratulations to him. It's not something he would have wanted to to take away from Alan Wynn, but given the situation, it's going to be something he has to step up and do. So, yeah, I'm sure he'll do a great job. As I said, there's there's few guys more experienced, especially with Lions uh, caps, uh, than him. Um, and in terms of the lock replacement, it's Adam Baird, which is maybe not a surprise given that that Getz is the man picking the squad, along with his, uh, you know, his coach and crew. He did mention in the press conference that he wasn't able to make the decision at that time, but it's later come out that it is Adam Baird. Um, obviously, if you're a Scotsman, you'd be thinking, what's Johnny Gray got to do? If you're an Irish fan, you'd be thinking, what's James Ryan got to do? But it is Adam Baird. Um, in terms of of James Ryan, I honestly think him captaining Ireland may be better off in the long run for his own leadership experience and his own development. Obviously, being on the Lions Tour is not like anything else, but he will certainly have more Lions Tours in his future, and uh, Ireland do need him to get some more experience. So it's kind of a it's kind of a uh, a double edged sword. It would have been great to see him go on the Lions Tour, but I do think he'll benefit from from being captain and getting some extra experience under his belt. Um, for Gray, I guess he's just a different fit from what from what Gats was looking at. I mean, you won't get many work rates as big as Johnny Gray, but I do rate Adam Beard uh, as a player as well, so it's a pretty tough one. Um, also, as if things aren't going kind of tough enough for the Lions, Justin Tipperick's apparently been ruled out as well. Initially in the press conference, Gats just seemed to think that was kind of a stinger. And that's what it looked like in the, um, well, you know, watching the game. You know, Tipperick looked, if anything, to maybe have been whacked in the in the ribs. Uh, but yeah, he's apparently gone for a scan and been ruled out as well. So he's been replaced by Josh Navidi. And Josh Navidi is one of many loose forwards who was probably unlucky to miss out on the squad in the first place. But with the likes of Tom Curry and you know, Hamish Watson, there was plenty of guys who've got that skill set around. I mean, Navidi is maybe a bit more versatile than those guys. I mean, Curry's pretty versatile, to be fair. Um, but Navidi's got a real good all-round skill set, maybe got a better offload game than any of those guys. 
Uh, Tipperick's work at lineout time is going to be tough to replace because he's probably better than the other guys in that department. But as I said, uh, Navidi's pretty versatile, so he can jump at the lineout as well. But man, um, initially they said um, that you know Tipperick's one didn't look that bad, but there's varying news reports. The latest one seemed to say that he's he's done. Uh, there have been some that say he may go for further scans, but either way, Tipperick has been called, not Tipperick, um, Navidi has been called up. So that's a tough start, man. Um, you could feel the negative energy coming from, from Getz in that press conference, and I don't blame him. Like It's a, a solid win for the side, but at what cost? Yeah, very, very tough stuff. Uh, he did also mention that um, Conan played the game with a tight hamstring, so did well to get through 70 minutes. So that's why he kind of came off with 10 minutes to go. It was better not to risk him injuring himself before he even gets on the plane. So yeah, Tipperick and Alan Wynn, by all accounts, not going to travel and have been replaced by uh, Navidi and Baird. So congratulations to those guys for their call-ups. As I said, obviously, there's other guys who could have been called up in their place. Likewise, at the loose forward position, there could have been other guys called up, but it is Navidi. So, um, yeah. You guys let me know what you reckon. How does this affect the Lions' chances going forward? Do you think the captaincy question can be replaced by the collective as a group? I mean, they've got heaps of other, both club and international captains in their side. So it's not like uh, Conor Murray will be doing all this on his own. Um, and what do you think of Beard and Navidi as the replacements? Obviously, there were other guys that could have been called up, but it is those two for now. I'm sure this will not be the last. That's just the way the Lions tours go. There will be other guys who will fall out of the squad due to injury. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. But yeah, we'll see how things go. It's pretty brutal to lose your captain after seven minutes but yep you guys take care of yourselves uh let me know if there are any other updates since i record this video and um yeah i'll talk to you guys again soon see you later